Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to film a little video showing how I'm setting up the Kame TV 7800 gimbal. And uh, this is not gonna be a really entertaining video, but just so you guys can see how long it takes and maybe get some little tips along the way. So I have set this up once before, uh, only a few times before. So it's basically pre ready to go. So you know, if I get to a shoot, it's almost ready to go. And uh, okay, so this is the gimbal. Now you can set up the stand over here, which you know comes with a little stand and this, takes a little long to set up. I've actually found a way, I'll show you guys in a second, I found a way that, that it doesn't take too long to set up, but this isn't the, you know, my preferred method, but I'll show you guys that in a second. So what I prefer is, you know, I don't think I would ever be at a shoot where I have this thing, you know, because it's, it's not a tiny thing that I'm gonna put in like a backpack for travel, you know, it's just a larger thing for more, uh, for specific uses on a shoot. So. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to be on a shoot with, with this and without light stands. So, uh, you know, these are a couple of light, you know, small light stands. If you really wanted to, you could get some uh, small light stands like the Lily, uh, whatever it's called. I'll, I'll put a link down below, uh, the Lily Pod or Lollipod, the Lollipod. So you could easily fit two Lollipod stands, uh, which would hold this just fine. You could easily fit them into the case if you, you know, there's there's some extra space in here. If you, you know, if you cut a little slit in it, you could easily, easily fit a couple of small light stands in there, uh, or even like a couple of old tiny um, stills tripods or something. Anything you want. But basically, a couple of light stands and just set them up to the height you want. And that's going to be, in my opinion, much easier to balance this way than to use this stand, which is only going to be usable, at, you know, if you have a table as well. And, you know, this thing, in my opinion, just easier and quicker to set up and just better than the stand that's included with it. Okay, so what I need for here is a uh, camera, this plate, which is uh, fine, not great, but usable. So uh, this is a place where you need a little coin or something, which I'm not a big fan of uh, having to, to do that. And uh, this plate also really doesn't have much grip uh, to the camera. So you might want to use a little piece of rubber or something in between them because this thing just doesn't grip the camera. So then you're going to want to figure out which direction the camera actually goes into here. And you want to make sure it's the right way because if it's not the right way, then your safety system for that quick release will not work properly. And obviously that's dangerous for your camera. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to basically lock this in place just sort of roughly. So I want to bring it to the position that I want it to be in. So something like this. And basically I need to basically check each axis and see if it's, you know, basically do one axis at a time, make sure that's stable. And I'm gonna do that once and then go over it again, make sure that I'm sort of tweak it and make sure it's perfect. So, uh, okay. Flip this round, move the camera forward because I can see it's really tilting back. And Okay, so I got that uh, pretty much roughly in the correct place. Lock this down. And then uh, right now, I don't really need to do anything else. Uh, if I had a different camera on here, which I didn't use before on here, because all I've done here was just change the lens. So basically most of the change that I needed to do was to actually just move the camera back and forth. This right here, this piece right here, just moved out of place by accident. It's not actually uh, something that you necessarily have to change when you change lens. But uh, yeah, but then we basically have uh, this axis, sort of uh, this um, adjustment. We have the adjustment here, backwards and forwards. Then we also have the adjustment for moving this up and down, which is the main adjustment here that doesn't have a quick release. So, you know, you do need tools to move this up and down. But I actually, for the A7S, I haven't needed to move this up and down. Just the way it came from the factory was perfect for the A7S. And, you know, if I wanted to use my 5D on here, I would likely need to move, move this up and down a little, um, you know, if needed. So, okay, so I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to turn my camera on. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm using the battery that I want to actually shoot with 
because otherwise, if I need to change battery from a half empty one, then that's going to change my balance in the middle of shooting. What I'm going to want to do is turn the camera on and set my lens to the zoom that I want because if it's not in the zoom that I want or in the, you know, the zoom and focus that I want, that's going to actually change my balance during filming if I change my zoom or focus or whatever. Now the, the focus may change your balance or may not depending on how heavy and large the uh, glass that needs to move inside the lenses. So with small lenses it often won't make any difference to the balance. With larger lenses focusing will change your balance and you'll need to balance again after focusing. So, okay, I've got that set up really nicely. Basically, whatever position I move it to, it stays in that position. That's a little bit left heavy. So, so I'm going to move it a tiny bit to the right. Lock it in place, test it again. That's roughly what I want. Okay, turn it on, give it a second to adjust. And now you can also turn it on and off while using it. You don't have to have it on the stand, but uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's now ready to go. And then, uh, so up here, I've got the uh, control for actually moving this. And you can have this on the left side, this, uh, you know, like that. And then uh, if you press it, you can get into a follow mode that follows your movements. And yeah, so um, check out my review of this down below, as well as, uh, you know, footage in the links down below. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. And uh, yeah.